Okay, today guys, I'm going to show you how to auto level with this Delta printer, the FL Sun QQ, for the glass. Now, why is this a problem, and how can this apply to the FL Sun QQ and other Delta printers like it? All right. So here's the deal. When these auto leveling devices come down, a lot of them operate on the premise that electricity is passing from your very clean nozzle here, your brand new nozzle, down to uh, the bed on which there is a conductive uh, surface. Okay, so this one comes with a conductive sticker. So you peel off the wax paper when you get this thing brand new, you hit auto level, it comes down and touches that sticky gross sticker and it auto levels according to what it senses. Electricity passes from the tip down to the conductive surface, off to this wire that is on the side alright and so it makes the electrical connection and it touches in like 16 spots and then it knows basically where uh, level is it, it calculates off those spots right so the problem is is when you try to use something like glass that you're not actually um, you're not getting any contact electrical you're not getting an electrical circuit made the circuit is broken alright so to uh, get around that we're going to use aluminum foil now there are some if ands or buts that go with this process all right we'll get to those so aluminum foil is 0 0.02 millimeters thick and so it'll be the best thing we can use that's also disposable to do this process now if you were to just take it and stick it on here, it's not going to work, okay? You're going to have to do a little bit more work than that, guys. So, I recommend you take some hairspray, okay, put plenty on there, take your aluminum foil very carefully, place it on here, press in the middle, and work your way out. Okay, so you, you, let's pretend that this is nice and perfect and I got all the bubbles out. Now you may have to use a device and you can see it's kind of wavy. Alright, so you really have to press that hairspray out and get it perfect. I mean perfect. Okay, I'm not going to take the time to get this perfect. I probably would take a uh, edge like this and kind of, you know, scrape it down something but this aluminum foil is delicate and it will rip so be careful now this is the fastest way to accomplish this you want to make a tail on the aluminum foil you want to preserve that tail and not knock it off but the rest of it you can take your knife and kind of backwards scrape it see and cut it just by scratching it like that okay so don't get wild or you will mess this up it's gentle it's simple when it's easy So now you have your plate with your tail. All right. So All right, we'll take the last pry right off of there. You got your tail. Now look, there's a conductive sticker holding a little wire onto the side. That is what you want your tail to be on. Put your plate down, you clamp it into place, alrighty, it's preheated and everything, the tail gets pressed down onto that sticker that's on the side, okay, right there, and, it, and um, 
then you can go in and hit auto level in your machine it will come down and hit all the spots and it will be auto level now here comes all the ifs ands or buts and caveats all right so let me get on this side this device was built by humans so there's a certain amount of flaw in it that's why when it auto levels it will be level I mean it will pick a level plane but its height might be off that's the Z setting right so if your height is off like it is too high or too low you can come in and hit tools more and there's a Z offset minus and a Z offset plus. It moves your, your whole plane, you know, that it senses the bed at, either up or down by 0 0.05 millimeters. That is a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, the thickness of the Reynolds wrap over there was 0 0.02 millimeters. And that's why we're using it, because it's effectively so thin, it's not going to mess with our settings too much. Now, if I were you, I would go in immediately before before I try to print anything and I would tap that Z plus button to get it higher than I want it to be, all right? I would get it much higher than I wanted it to be. That way when this head came down for the first try and tries to print you like a, a nice little circle in the middle, that it is actually too high to do it. And then I would, okay, so I, I let it start printing. It comes down and it just starts squirting plastic in the air. That's exactly what I want. Because after that, I'll know exactly how high this tip is from the bed, and then I go in and hit Z minus. So auto leveling got you a nice plane, you know, the, the plane of existence there, and you just need to lower it down uh, so many taps at a time. So when you do this and you go in the very first time and you hit plus 0 0.05, count how many times you're tapping it. So say you hit it 20 times, all right? So it'll be up 20 times 0 0.05 is whatever, and it'll be up that high, it'll be too high. But just keep a mental note so that when you go back in, you can kind of have an idea for where level lands. And why is all this, why is all this stuff like this, right? So the machines are made by humans, the parts are, are all just ever so slightly different, even if they're made by a machine. and it's accounting for the thickness of the sticky sticker and that capped on tape stuff. So it actually thinks when it auto levels that it's gonna bring it to a level plus or minus to help with the thickness of the capped on tape and all that stuff. So you get all these factors working its way in and you need to keep that in mind for your first print. So I'll get something small if I'm doing the first print like this bearing. I'll purposely make it too tall when it comes down, I'll get to see how many times approximately I have to hit a 0 0.05 minus. And but once it gets close, it'll be on. It'll be perfect, like like it mine is right now. Okay, so that's all the ifs, ands, or buts. Um, there's not much else to know. Just make sure that you get all the bubbles out of this aluminum foil before you start auto leveling. All right. However you do that, you do that. You can take an object and push out something very smooth and push out all them bubbles, right? But you got a little bit of time. Let me show you something. See how it's still moving on the glass plate? It's because that hairspray is still wet underneath and it stays wet for a decent amount of time if you put enough on there. If you put too much on though, you're going to spend all your time pushing it out to the edges. So just put on enough to make it work, and aluminum foil will help you auto level your machine. So um, I think that's all the tips I can give you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. Um, would you pretty please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already done that, and I will catch you guys later. Okay, so I forgot to mention one thing. Do not print directly on aluminum foil. I mean, I've never tried it, but the point of getting it auto-leveled and having the aluminum foil on it is to 
be able to take the aluminum foil off when you're done and just print, print directly on glass and hairspray. Okay, so don't forget to take the aluminum foil off. It'll come off easily. Hairspray washes off with just regular old cold water. So remove your foil.